you might not be from east africa you might be from somewhere in asia or somewhere in south america somewhere that's developing but i just feel like if you're in the uk and you have connections back home in a place where there's developments happening you could make your money stretch a lot more and have owned something a lot quicker if you invest internationally over investing just in the uk <music> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on why I'm planning a big trip to East Africa and also explaining how to plan the trip and what key things you might need if you're doing such a big trip to that region. So <laughs> this trip has been on my mind for years, years, but it's never been like solidified and I really solidified it when I was doing my mood board for 2023, like what things I want to accomplish, what things I want to do. And I knew in Q1 I wanted to save up money and Q2 to actually go and explore, actually do the trip. So this is just the first of many trips I'm going to do to the region because I'm trying to sort things out like my passport, sort my citizenship and everything like that. Because a special thing about East Africa, they actually operate like the European Union in a way. They have like this agreement where you can, you can travel freely around them and trade freely, which is really, really good for people like me <laughs> who are interested in investment and businesses and things like that. So there's a couple of reasons why I'm going. Firstly, um, I've just finished uni and I wanted to do a big trip. I could have chosen to go travel Asia, could have chosen to do, I don't know, interrailing or going and traveling around the States. There's so many things I could have done, but I chose specifically to go to East Africa because my heart has always been in the region. I've always been curious about so many different developments and I feel like I'm young and still grown at the same time. So I'm at a good age where I can really go explore, make some good connections and get to learn more about the context and any opportunities there so i feel like going on this trip will just give me a much different setting and also like kind of like a mental break from like the fast-paced life here or like being too much online because i know if i'm there i'm going to be a lot more connected in the setting i'm in the second reason why i'm going which is tied to the first reason is because i wanted to be a natural tourist i feel like every time i've gone to Uganda, which is where i'm from where i was born and raised for a little bit before i came to the uk i feel like i've always just gone just to be with family and it's all well and good i'm at an age where i feel like i need to understand the context a little bit better and just see like the touristy stuff there because now i can afford it that is what i'm going to be delving into there's so many beautiful things around that I just didn't have um didn't know about number one and also I was just too young to go explore them by myself so at this age I have the resources to really go dive in and be a proper tourist so I can't wait to go on safari rides I can't wait to be swimming with dolphins and doing all of that beautiful stuff there. So um, another reason why I'm going, which is kind of the last reason why I'm going, is because I believe there's so many investment opportunities in East Africa, especially in Kenya, Tanzania, and there's some parts of Uganda that have good investment opportunities. At this age, I don't have like a lot of capital, but what I can do is go and observe and like get a good understanding again of the context to see if um, there's like certain opportunities I could leverage and then grow my money there. Like things like getting into property in the UK, <sighs> like it's all good. Like you just need a lot of capital and it takes a much longer time for you to actually own the things here. Whereas in um, somewhere like a developing country, like Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, any of those places, like my purchasing power is a lot more there than it is here. So I wanted to look into properties, I wanted to look at manufacturing and just look at different developments around that I could put my money in, that I could invest, that um, can benefit the country and also benefit me. Only an annoying thing about um, working in developing countries is regulations, quite off like there's a lot of bribery there's a lot of stealing and all of this stuff. if you're not in the space you won't know what's going on somebody could be stealing your land somebody could be um doing all sorts to your property somebody could be ruining your business like been doing quite a lot of research here to get an understanding of how other people have invested back home and all of that stuff you might not be from east africa you might be from somewhere in asia or somewhere in south america somewhere that's developing but i just feel like if you're in the uk and you have connections back home 
in a place where there's development happening, you could make your money stretch a lot more and have owned something a lot quicker if you invest internationally over investing just in the UK. Um, but those are just my thoughts. So moving on to how I plan this trip.